Just to let you know, this is a five minute makeup. I'm completely disorganized, um, which is me to a T. I have no idea where everything is, but I'm going to do a really, really quick makeup on this gorgeous lady here and who has a tan and I think we're going to keep the tan and she says yes and just take a little bit of the red out but keep the colour, wait can't move that way so I will just go would you be kind enough to hold this <laughs> I think you better put it there Right, right, here we go. I'll get everything and everything. I like, these are the products that I like and I can't do now. Um, I love Chanel. I got them for nothing, so otherwise I'd be using the cheap stuff. I used to put the cheap stuff into the, into the bottles. I used to decant them so everyone thought I had, I had the really good stuff. But I'm Jewish, so I don't, can't do that. Um, so, again, look at the face. You can see that you've got a little bit of red there. But also, because you're very light here, so you make a choice. You either block that out or you go darker there. I will just... Your face is so lovely. The only type place I'm going to put makeup is here. It's just to take the red away. Let's hope we got the right colour here. Hun. I'm not sure about it. Um, I must be honest and say I don't have a preference necessarily to certain products but there are certain products that I can't do without and I will make a list and put them on. I'm just going to do one side so that you can see the difference. So what I do when I do makeup and I use my my um whatever these are called now i forgot what they're called pink things i like to stipple my base very very gently i don't see the point in putting makeup on and then going like that because all you're doing is you're just moving it taking it off and putting it somewhere else so what's nice too is to have enough makeup to use, oh here it is, um, mm, such a nice smell, mm. and I'll take it down here, I find if there's a little bit of a, a mark on the face or, or discolor, discoloration to use just to stipple it, and my normal thing to do is just let it evaporate before I blend it. It just seems to help the whole thing. And I, oh God, all right, I'll do all the face. Can't let you go out with just half the face done. Um, the reason I don't do that is A, because you're putting it on there and then taking it off, moving it down the face. So you want to blend it afterwards. Um, and I must be honest, I have a preference. I always mix different colours because if you look at someone's face, they're never one colour. Um, I used to use about five or six different, different colours, but I can't do that now. All right, keep your eyes closed. Take your time with your foundation. It should take time with foundation cream. It's the, it's the basis for everything you do. That's not me, by the way, blowing, having wind. <laughs> That's it. It's <laughs> some guy next door. <laughs> that was a bit inappropriate. <laughs> it did sound very rude. I have hundreds of these. And I have the, these um, beautiful sponges um, and I, all I ever do, I used to wash them all by hand and hand and hand and it used to take forever to wash them. Now I stick them in one of those bags and stick them in the dishwasher or even the washing machine. Don't forget the ears, I always do. 
and round the ears. And I'm going to use a spun a, a brush on you. This talking to myself is really difficult. I love teaching makeup. I love it. I love it when I used to teach and students and you see someone who's who you you teach them something mm -hmm. and now they're just very famous makeup artists Excellent. it's not my responsibility that they got there but it's lovely that they may, may manage to do that makes me very proud it's a shame they don't employ me there <laughs> and that's a cry for help isn't it so take your time with your foundation cream. I'm going to rush because I just want to really do this side so you can see before and after. And then make sure when you take foundation cream on the face, you don't, I only ever take foundation cream to about here, base, because what you don't want to do is for it to go into the hair and the hairdresser has a, has a fit. And that's it. And I, I like to blend with very long brushes and soft brushes. I'm, what I tend to do I just remembered, sorry, because uh, sometimes they do these things automatically. I, you, you want to have a colour that is complementing the neck. So you don't want to do a really dark colour and have someone sitting there with a white neck. You want it to be able, when you push the foundation cream down, it's all one colour. So what I do when there's a mirror there, I turn around and I pretend that I'm picking something up and I turn around and then look in the mirror and the first thing I see that doesn't look right I know that's a mistake that's what I taught myself so so before I do anything else I make sure that the foundation cream sets so I don't it's not greasy on the face um, clean my hands wipe it down my shirt do things like that, silly things like that. I've got this love now for this water wipes. It's chemical free and it's pure water. I love it. I use it in the loo. I use it on the dog. And they're big, they're lovely. I guess they're biodegradable, she says hopefully. So, so what I do sometimes, this is what I do. This is the honest trick. I'll do someone's makeup, I'll do the base, and I think, yeah, that's great. Now what am I gonna do? So I'll, I'll just carry on washing my hands and go, what the hell am I gonna do now? And I go, does that feel okay? Mm. Lovely. So I get, this was specially made for me. Um, my lovely Richard made it for me. And it's the nicest thing I've got in my kit. Right, so I've let it evaporate a little bit. So I'm gonna put a little bit of um, concealer on. So rather than, um, because I don't know where my concealers are, I think if I move over to here, I'll find them. Um, it could be anywhere. No, that's lipstick. Ah, oh, here we are. So I'm not saying you've got a lot of, you need a lot of concealer, but <laughs> this is brilliant. So, soft, I take two brushes, a big one that's really wide for blending, which is that, and a little small one, which is pointed to put it on. And again, so if you've got someone in front of a mirror, just drop your chin and look up. Oh my god. And I put a little tiny bit of pink in because pink cuts grey and it makes it easy to 
easier I should say I also should say that I should use a spatula and not dip my brush into the makeup but these have all been cleaned and I will I go through a lot of brushes because I use clean brushes every time I'm just going to do one side and if that makes sense The trick with makeup is to keep is to add, not to put it on in in tons and then have to spend the next three hours trying to blend it down. Okay? And a big tip, when you work under the eye, and I'm sure you probably know this, you must keep your brush down so that otherwise it doesn't look as though it is not a threat to somebody. I learnt that very quickly and round. Sounds like a very, oh, we've got loads of seagulls around here. And that's because we live by the sea. <laughs> and they're driving us mad. Okay, just if you put con uh, concealer under the eye and it's very, very thick, just take a tiny bit of moisturizer and mix it on your hand with no colour on it and just go, I like to use a big brush like that and just blend it, blend it into, you want to blend it into the centre and then down, so you keep your brush down so that it doesn't, it doesn't irritate the eye she says, she pokes the brush there so don't bring it down too low because all you'll do is highlight that and that will still be dark. And you walk forward, have a look. It leaves a little bit more. Um, I need some cotton wool buds actually, somewhere. Look up for me. Okay, mm -hmm. is that all right? Yeah. It's a bit big for what, okay, look. It's still a bit too much. I'm going to put a tiny bit of foundation cream on. I use um, quite a light colour. What you should do, in fact, is don't use your brush and pick it up from the palette. What you should use is a knife or a palette knife or something and put it on the back of your hand. No, not on the back of the hand. Put it on your, on a dish or something. So it's not, don't do as I do, do as I say. I can't remember who it was. There was a makeup artist that used to use this foundation cream. I can't remember if it was foundation cream or whatever it was, but it absolutely reeked. It was so off, it could have oh. walked out the room on its own. And she used, she said, I'm gonna use this stuff, I don't care. And um, when she she was using it, she was holding it out here. Oh. And the, the whole thing was just, you could smell it everywhere. No, I don't care, she says, I've paid a lot of money for this stuff. And that was it. So, I also let it evaporate a little bit because it makes, it sits better on the face. I always take foundation cream over the eye. Um, I wouldn't use too much because you don't want it to all slide down the face. Close your eye please. Et voila, just a little bit. And I use a big brush for this because I want to quickly go over the eye. So next, these are all lipsticks I think. No, that's not. So next I'm going to use a bit of colour, a bit of eyeshadow. I would normally do blusher. I'll do blusher one side. Quickly do it for you. Um, I like to use my fingers. I have been known to use lipstick when in doubt and I was in a hurry but I like to mix also what I do is mix it with a little bit of foundation cream so it doesn't come too strong I'm telling everyone all my 
bad habits. So it's smile and as you're the makeup artist it's very hard not to do it but you have when you say to someone can you smile you have to go smile <laughs> and you have to smile with them. So I use my finger uh, it's this finger because this finger is the softest finger and it has no um, pressure when you put it on the face and I just run it across. I wonder who that is. Do you know there's no one been living there for for three years now and all of a sudden and I'm going to just take it so it's a hint. Mm. Oh that's nice. Quite like that. Cool. And I just bring it, I'm going to put a tiny bit on your forehead as well, just to warm it up. Got to be careful, see, because they've got terrible illness. Blushing so, disease. Pardon? Blushing disease. Blushing disease, all right. So I'm going to put a little tiny bit of eyeshadow on. We're going to keep this, this is a no makeup makeup, which I love. I'm looking for some more palettes. Oops, I choked myself again. Oh, this is the, the mega one. I decanted all my, all mm -hmm. 3,000 eyeshadows or whatever it was I had, and I put them all in color things, she said, and I will use a powder puff if I could, I would, I would use the powder puff. My touch is very light um, because I find if you do it, if you whack it on and you really push it in, you can't you you start to have problems I, I think i do it as a trial if the color looks good then i know i can go in and make it a little bit heavier i gonna put a bit of gold on your eye as well oh that's nice i'm gonna do the other eye then and put a bit of gold a bit of that gold for the gold Excuse me. It's those, it's those eggs I ate at lunchtime. <laughs> I love, I think my favourite thing to do is eyebrows. I love eyebrows. Eyebrows really shape the eye. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit of, um, if I can find a, a really lovely brush. I'm going to just use that. I love eyebrows. I can't bear to see really heavy eyebrows, but I think depending on what you're doing, it's necessary to um, really shape the eyebrow. And I'm going to use I'm going to use some um, eyeshadow on you, as opposed to a pencil, um, because I don't know where my pencils are. I've got an eye pencil, but I have what you need, the, what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. If you do an eyebrow, you want to have a proper eyebrow pencil because it's yep. more solid and it will stay on. If you just use an ordinary eye pencil, it just will start melting. So I'll use a little bit of eyeshadow on you. I prefer to use a brush that is slanted. So you copy, she says, trying desperately to find something. Um, I was all sorted this morning, but I'm all over the shop now. Doesn't matter. I use that. I use that. So I'm going to give you a really nice warm colour. I love eyebrows. They're useful. So what I do is I follow 
the way the eyebrow goes. Go up to begin with and then take it across. If I was using a pencil and I was really trying to make a proper line, I would come the other way. But that's another story. And it's there, there, finish. I can't bear the eyebrows everyone's wearing at the moment, I must be honest. Have you seen the eyebrow stamps? No. What's, what, what are, it's like, a, like one of these beauty sponges with a shape on it and you just stamp on your eyebrow. Never. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, it's the bank. So yeah. I wouldn't worry. Do you know, I could be sitting here for days <gasps> and no one would call me. <laughs> Well, I think it's my, my friend who wants me to go to her allotment. Really hard, you know, to do this, excuse me, if I come in front of you. Right, so, I love eyebrows. So, eyebrows go, corner of the nose, corner of the eye, and that's where it finishes. They are perfect. Corner of the nose, corner of the ear, there you go. And I've kept it warm. So you follow, when you're doing eyebrows, you want to follow the way the hair grows. So you start off here, going up, and then very gently take it here. And then take a brush through it, just to set it, take all the excess out. There. it's lovely nice color on you thank you um have i got a bit of powder here i could put on you underneath your eye the one thing you need to do when you're doing makeup um is to set it otherwise by the time you finish putting the makeup on it's just all dissolved and melted but i'm, I'm not quite sure where all my powders are Next time, I'll figure it out. All right, so keep your eyes closed. It's very little makeup. I quite like it when you see a bit of sheen. I hate matte, matte, matte powder because I think it makes the face, ages the face. Okay, so mascara. Um, here we go. That's an eyeliner, it's nearly right. Um, that's a mascara. <laughs> when in doubt, use an eyeliner. I will have to improvise, I think. Eclat. It's a highlighter pen. I'm not quite sure where my, my um, mascaras are. You might have to, uh, in that, this, this is an impromptu makeover. All right. So perfect. <clears throat> I didn't have all my stuff together. Hold on. No. There's Pablo. Put some makeup on him. What's that? Print Prime. Okay. I give in. I can't find my mascara. I've got everything. Oh, here we go. She says, fingers crossed. Right. So, big tip. Don't pump mascara. Okay. Because that pumps air into it mm -hmm. and you won't have it. You know I'm Jewish. It has to go a long way. Yep. So I don't do all that. And I have these for, for years. So How long can they last? Totally, well, if you're using it on your own, mm -hmm. just on yourself, as long as you want. Okay. But on other people we have to use. Yeah, of course. Okay, so I, the trick is look up. You should have your eye, eyelashes tinted. I can't do that. Can't do that at all. I couldn't have my own. Is that all right, uncomfortable? No. So, 
The trick with, the biggest thing I can tell anyone to do, or any makeup artist, when you're working doing mascara, do the bottom lashes first, ask them to look up, and keep your brush, your handle down, because um, it doesn't come as a threat. I've seen girls do makeup on, on uh, their models and things, and they've, they've poor girl's eyes are watering. So look down for me. And what I do is I lift the eye up very slightly so I can get right into the root. I should really use a eyelash curler. But it's only what I've done with it. Do you wear makeup normally? No, not not much if I'm gonna go out for a dinner or something like that. Um, and then I just stick on some mascara. See I think what happens now when I put makeup on because I'm making an effort to wear it mm -hmm. um, I forget so I'll start rubbing my eyes and exactly so I think well that was a complete waste of time. I used to wear in my youth or slightly when I started working as a makeup artist I ha used to be top to toe with makeup and I used to wear two pairs of eyelashes on the top and one underneath, a pair underneath and my mother used to say God blimey could see you a fortnight before you came around the corner <laughs> I used to wear just drenched in makeup well that's what girls do yep I think it's very funny so blusher um, I'm if if I'm really desperate and I can't find my blushes, which is the problem now, um, I whack a little bit of. Um, oh, that's why, because they're all here. Everything's here. See, Mandy. I'm not sure what that is. Slippy. Here we are. So I mix my colours up when I do, again when I do blusher, so I take a big brush, massive brush, maybe not quite as big as that, but something, you want something very soft and fluffy like that and then what happens if when you come to put it on it just goes everywhere, so it's a little bit of that and a little bit of the cream always shake it off and smile for me. I, I, I can't help it, I have to do the <laughs> same thing. I, have to, I don't know why I've always done that. And I'm going to take it there. And as my father used to say, you can always add, but you can't take away. Mm -hmm. So you need to build it up. And I love to take the powder just round the hairline, very, very slightly, just to warm the face up. Got to be careful, you don't get it in the hair. <laughs> the hairdresser's going to hate you. Okay, so I'm just going to take it over the brow bone. Bit there. Bit there, go mad. Um, some mascara. That's not mascara. Did I have done? Have I done the attention to go to the eyes? Mm -hmm. I'm just not. I'm not putting very much on your lip. Um, so I'm going to take just a tiny bit of colour of lip rather than use a lip liner. So, oh, that's nice. I like to mix um, lipsticks, um, I never use just one colour, I like to mix a lot. This Pablo, Pablo is learning how to do makeup. Um, and normally when I do the lips I put a tiny bit of um, oil or something on my lip, on the lip, mm -hmm. just so you do everything at the same time. Okay, so whack it, sorry, place it on very nicely. 
I'm just looking for a powder puff. Here we are. I'm not sure I can open that. Oh, there you go. Would you be kind enough to pull it out? Said the actress to the bishop, or bishop said to the actress. So this is a real... I'm not doing any eyeliner. This is just a, a stain. Because I want the attention to go up. You've got lovely skin. Thank you. And you're lovely to make up as well. You're the perfect model. You just sit there. So, it's a bit pearlized, which looks, I think it looks really nice. I like that. Now, can you please go? When, as things go further, when we do more makeup, I will, what I want to do is show you a really good way to get a proper line around the mouth. So, oh, I was, I used to hate doing lips. Hate it. And Why? Because they, they are, they can be really difficult. You can get, someone who's got a <laughs> lip up there. To try and when you're doing photography and stuff like that for, yeah. for, for TV, you have to get them the same. Yeah. And you, you, you have to make a decision do I make them smaller, do I make them bigger? But to get them to, to be the same, I used to have to hold, I think every makeup artist, they, they all hold their, yeah. their breath because you, you, you're worried that if you move, the brush is going to make a mistake. So, if you want it to stay on forever, um, what I do is I blot it, but I don't have any tissues here. I blot it, put more lippy on, blot it, and my lipstick never comes off. Um, and that's it. That's my my go-to no makeup makeup. Brilliant. Oh, little tip. Um, I, if, if you have a cop move bud, you, have a, you need a big one, but these all day. They're all gonna, just gonna go flying in a minute. I just know it, I'll put it here. So, if you're doing a really good lip, lip on somebody, so you open, close, just relax your mouth. If you take the cop move bud, across the mouth, what it does, it takes it off the inside of the mouth. Because the worst thing is if you sat there and you were doing, a, you were doing something on camera and you suddenly smiled and it's all over your teeth. It just takes it all off. That's very clever. I think, do you know, no one ever calls me. <laughs> and I've had three phone calls today. Who loves me? That's what I want to know. But thank you very much for watching. This was a very, very impromptu makeover. Thank you. thank you, and thank you very much, my my lovely photographer, come silly maker, come come. Does ever, he's very good with computers. If you need any, <laughs> anyone to help you, thank you very much. Thank you for watching, and come back again.